Good morning, congregation, and welcome to Athens Christian Reformed Church Online. It is good to be with you to worship the Lord our God. Uh, this week, this Sunday, marks the first Sunday in Lent, and so we are in the process of preparing our hearts for, uh, for yeah, for Good Friday and for Easter and, uh, and contemplating all that that means for us. I have uh, just uh, a couple of announcements to make for you this morning. Uh, the first is now that the stay at home order is lifted, we will be returning to uh, having both in-person services and um, online services. Uh, and so that has a few details. We're not doing that obviously this week. This week instead is going to be preparation for Lord's Supper. So this service today is preparation for Lord's Supper, which means that next Sunday, which is the last Sunday in February, the second Sunday in Lent, will be communion for us to celebrate at home. And so uh, all of you can make sure that you have the proper uh, elements if you would like to participate at home. And we will, do, uh, we will do communion through an online service. And then the week after that, the first Sunday in March, the third Sunday of Lent, we will have the opportunity for people to uh, come uh, for in-person worship service and or uh, or or rather uh, celebrate uh, the worship service at home online. Now this means there are a few details. Uh, one is we will be going back to the same uh, the same sort of rules and procedures for how we can have the in-person worship services. Here, um, so if you can RSVP again uh, to let us know if you would like to come to that service on the first Sunday in March, and I'll let you know. Uh, I'll remind you uh, that it's back to church at athenscrc.org. That's back to t o church. Uh, at athenscrc.org. Uh, if you can let us know in the next couple of weeks if you'd like to be here for that service, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, but then we will also need uh, volunteers again for various things like uh, possibly sanitizing after the service and doing the check-in questions at the front desk and so on. Now, Having the in-person service will obviously be um, contingent upon uh, whether or not the, the health uh, authorities give us any different sort of advice or regulations. So we are going ahead as if it's going to be okay, but uh, keep your eyes and ears uh, peeled, uh, as it were, to uh, hear more if, uh, if suddenly there's an upsurge or whatever in this area. We're also um, things like uh, cadets and gems and youth. Uh, they hopefully will be getting started again in some form or another. Uh, it depends uh, a little bit on what those uh, leaders are able to do and feel comfortable with. So if you have kids in those age categories, just pay attention to uh, any announcements that might be coming out uh, of that. Now this also, I'll just remind you, means that our worship services online will be delayed a week starting the first Sunday in March. So you will have this Sunday and next Sunday, we will do all together because it's just the online service, but then the first Sunday in March, um, the folks at home, you will have uh, either a uh, message from earlier or you will have a message from another uh, speaker for that Sunday and then the next Sunday after that you will receive the online service for the third Sunday of Lent. 
okay? So I know that's a little bit complicated, but uh, keep all that in mind. Uh, and now, please receive God's greeting. Welcome, brothers and sisters, as we celebrate God's goodness and greatness, his grace and mercy. Welcome in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and in the name of the Father and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.